Welcome to Digital Journal TV. My name is Chris Hogg. In this episode, we're talking about a blogger who turned into a mainstream news anchor. But this story has a twist. She walked away from her mainstream job to go back to the web world. Digital Journal's got an exclusive interview with internet superstar Amber MacArthur about leaving City TV in Toronto. This is your look into the life of a tech journalist who left news because she says she no longer believes in the format. and a human rights blogger gets kicked out of China. You're watching Web Nation for the third week in August. It's one of the most surprising resignations in Canadian media so far in 2008. And Digital Journal TV will explore how a popular blogger and net reporter battled an old media giant. Amber MacArthur is one of the most connected people you will ever meet. The internet junkie spends countless hours on Facebook, other social bookmarking sites, filming her weekly video podcast called Command N, working with Leo Laporte on Net at Night, and running her own website. She's a modern day journalist who is always plugged into the internet. The result? She's developed a huge following online. MacArthur got the chance to go mainstream in 2006 when she was offered a job to work for City TV in Toronto. She jumped at the opportunity and quickly landed her own bi-weekly tech internet show called Web Nation. The show became incredibly popular, but she worried the network was not putting enough resources into it, stifling its growth. MacArthur actually threatened to leave the network, but stayed on after executives promised the world. At that point, management came back and said that they really wanted me to stay, and they offered me my own show on a weekly basis that would launch in January nationally on City TV, as well as G4 Tech TV. And obviously, I was super excited about that. It was a wonderful opportunity. We have a great team, and uh, for two months, we worked towards that goal. And after the holidays, I came in, after many discussions with them where everything was fine, I came in to talk to one of the managers. At that point, she had said to me, we don't have a budget to do the show, but you can stay and do daily news stories. Web Nation only aired 16 episodes and was killed before it got a chance to go any bigger. When executives told MacArthur that they were killing the show, she did the unexpected. She quit. Despite the fact she was offered a job as a reporter, she decided to walk. And the reason? She doesn't like traditional media. You know what? It's just not for me. I don't believe in the format. Um, I don't believe that uh, the audience is engaged in that type of format. I, for me personally, I find that the minute 15 format of a daily news story really isn't very valuable to an audience. And I think that it could be a lot more rich and a lot more interesting. I just felt as though it was so formulaic. You know, it's funny, and I, I hate to say this, but I, I used to say sometimes to my managers that I feel as though it's like Groundhog Day. We come in every day and we do the same thing day after day after day. And I love to come in and innovate, and I love to set goals and do all those types of things. And, and I don't think that's inherent in the environment that I was in. The popular Toronto-based site, BlogTO, picked up the story that saw MacArthur, her fans, and a very brave Rogers executive virtually duke it out in the comment thread. Comments made in the blog TO forum took a very private affair and made a very public he said, she said story. Among some of the things that Kevin Bardis said from Rogers was the fact that MacArthur was never available for meetings. <laughs> I just have to laugh to, when I hear that I wasn't available for meetings. I worked at 299 Queen Street West. I have a Blackberry and a cell phone. I have about five different email addresses. I'm on Facebook. I'm on MySpace. I'm all over the place. If someone wants to get in touch with me, they can definitely get in touch with me. The reaction from blog TO fans was fierce. One commenter lashed out at the network saying, your decision to terminate Web Nation is a realization of precisely what was widely feared, that you would turn the innovation at City into hollow mediocrity. This is a disappointment for advertisers and shareholders, not just the audience. Digital Journal sent repeated requests to both Rogers and Kevin Bardis to appear on this show and answer questions about Amber MacArthur's show, Web Nation. Both Rogers and Bardis declined an opportunity to speak to Digital Journal on camera. As both the tech, web, and media worlds talk about why Amber's show was cancelled, one part of the discussion that has come up repeatedly is numbers. Some have suggested MacArthur's show was cancelled simply because it didn't have a strong enough following. 
Uh, as far as the numbers on the show, the numbers, as far as I know, have never been measured as far as the broadcast version of the show. As far as the online version of the show, we had the most popular podcast that City TV has ever created uh, in the news environment. So uh, our podcast, Web Nation, recently won a top award from iTunes for being a best new podcast. We uh, had, I think, about 25,000 to 50,000 regular subscribers, which are it's pretty significant with a podcast that you've only done, I think we did 16 episodes of the show. So our numbers were growing really, really quickly, and uh, the audience was definitely there. We won tons of little awards. We were mentioned a lot online. And so it, it was growing and it was building, but I certainly wasn't hired there to continue to do old school uh, television news. MacArthur so far has been one of the few network TV journalists who actually leveraged the web to create a following. Rogers loved that about her. And in fact, the company did say that it's part of its mission strategy to grow a web following. However, MacArthur disagrees. I think that uh, the network I was working for was a little bit dismissive of anyone who's online and who's blogging in terms of them not really being an important audience for them. I think if they were an important audience for them, I probably wouldn't be sitting here in the middle of the day talking to you. I would be back at work. So I'm not sure that they right now see the value of communicating to an audience who spends more time on their computers than they do watching TV because in their minds, it's the TV audience that they see bringing in the ad revenue and they can't wrap their heads around how they could possibly bring in ad revenue from the online audience. Now, I'm totally in this world. I'm completely in the online world. And I see that the TV side of things is almost being like an advertisement for what you're doing online in the community you build online. So as you can imagine, there's definitely a little bit of a, a, a clash going on there. For millions of bloggers out there, getting a shot at going mainstream is a dream. For Amber, it was a reality she did not want to be part of. Since leaving City TV, she said she questions the format and complete structure of old media. Well, maybe I hang out with too many geeks or too many technical people because I just can't understand how uh, a format is sustainable when you need a cameraman, an editor, and a reporter all to work their entire day long to put together a minute and 15 long piece as far as a story that will only air once, maybe twice, and then disappears into the ether. Now, I'm no rocket scientist, but to me, that model does not seem to be sustainable, and I don't think that can necessarily be profitable for very long when you have people out there producing content who are, you know, it may, might be one person or maybe a two-person team who can produce content that is really leveraged and used in mul multiple ways. And I mean on TV, on cell phones, and on computers. So um, I think that the model that they have in place right now, I don't see it being sustainable for the future. MacArthur's audience are tech heads, internet lovers, bloggers, and citizen journalists. And these people, MacArthur believes, are the ones who actually pose a threat to mainstream media. I think that uh, there is an opportunity for citizen journalism to compete with mainstream news. I think it, it's just a matter of uh, timing in terms of getting the, the right people out there, the right team out there to be able to compete at that level. And it's just a matter of having the right person at the helm who feels as though they want to do something really innovative and really make a difference. But what about citizen journalists' trustworthiness? I'm not sure that mainstream news organizations can really be trusted. Those are the organizations who are funded by advertising. And if you look at our news organizations in Canada, and if you look at who's behind them, um, I don't know, I, I'd rather trust a blogger. <laughs> so what's next for MacArthur? Well, she's actually getting her feet wet in the world of social networking. She's also looking for media partners who want to revive her show. MacArthur is already on her feet, and this time it's for the world-famous motivational speaker Tony Robbins, who, believe it or not, is building a social networking site. Every time someone says, is it, a, is it a competitor to Google and Facebook, that makes me a little nervous because I'm like, wow, that's a, those are big boots to fill. But uh, I think it has some of the elements of both of those sites. And I think the idea is that, you know, this isn't just a little tiny social network that may uh, be a, a home for 35,000 people. The numbers we're looking at are definitely in the millions. MacArthur is also talking with the popular tech site CNET and other Canadian and American media looking to include more tech news. And so that wraps up another episode of Digital Journal TV. This has been your spotlight into the world of Amber MacArthur. I'm Chris Hogg. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. And so that wraps up another episode of Digital Journal... Journal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Blooper!